welcome back so today i thought i would film me cleaning i haven't filmed a cleaning video in literally maybe even a year like it's been a very long time but i've got my coffee and i like to kind of drink this whilst i'm cracking on with things might make another cup of tea later but let's crack on with the day So today is a Sunday and I'm starting the day by washing up. Usually I will wash up in the evenings. I pop on a YouTube video. I actually kind of like enjoy watching YouTube whilst washing up. I find the process of washing up quite therapeutic. I hate it when there's loads, but if there's just a little bit, then I really don't mind. Yes, I spilled some on my top before I even started filming this video. But my mum hates washing up and she's so glad that she has a dishwasher. But I actually think I would hate to have a dishwasher because I would hate to kind of like have to load the dishwasher up and then unload it. Like I just find washing up just so much better. And, and I don't know, I like the fact that when you're washing up, you have full control over how clean the items get. Whereas in the dishwasher, sometimes items don't come out the best. But I get why people you know that have a lot of washing up to do don't enjoy it because at the end of the day i do live by myself so i don't get through that many pots even though i do get through a lot of mugs sometimes i see about 15 16 mugs that i need to wash up and i'm like how the hell have i managed to drink that many drinks in like a day <laughs> which is not possible but it will probably be like two days so that's eight drinks per day but still i just find that's quite strange and a lot of people reuse the same mug for different drinks but I just don't do that like I like my mugs I like to use different mugs I find the whole experience of drinking like a cup of tea or a coffee is different depending on which mug you're drinking out of so to me it is very important which mug I use and I've just realized I've been speaking about mugs for 30 seconds so uh, I do apologize been meaning to film this video since I moved into this house roughly a year ago so it's a long time coming but I'm glad that I finally actually filmed it. I filmed a clip of the bunnies because they were both fighting over who can drink out of their water bottle. Oh yeah I need to update you on the bunnies so basically I had a bit of an issue with them so they kept fighting and it wasn't normal for them to do that because on the off time they would fight like once every two weeks or something like they would rarely fight but one of them kept attacking the other one not too viciously but it was still enough for the other one to not like it and I just knew that the aggression was caused by the fact that they needed neutering or um, castrating so I decided to go and get them both castrated at the vets and the the um, pet shop man that I bought them off originally did say like one day they will need castrating because of this exact issue. So I got that done and they had little cones on their head. It was so cute um, so that they didn't 
bite their wounds or anything, even though the cones came off straight away, they just didn't keep them on, but it, it looked cute anyway. Um, but they recovered really well. They are now best friends again. They're perfectly fine. So if you've got bunnies and they do the exact same thing where they're really aggressive and they used to be friendly, then consider that because I, um, I'm, I'm so glad that I paid for them to go to the vets because it's made a huge difference. They're really friendly now. And I had to keep them separate for so long. I had to keep one in its cage and the other one in my shower, which is not ideal. And it's quite annoying because whenever I needed a shower, I'd have to take him out and clean out any mess he's done in there. But yeah, now I'm just so happy that they're best friends again. So I'm really glad about that. And you should see more of the bunnies in upcoming Clean With Me videos because I do clean their cage out every week and I haven't or I don't actually show that in this video but I will be probably showing that in my next video so stay around for that one. noticed that my calendar hadn't been changed from February to March which is quite bad because it's the 11th day of March but anyway I now did some mopping I used this floor cleaner from Method and it's in a scent wild rhubarb it actually smells really nice and that's one of the main reasons why I mop every single week is because I love the smell of this product and it makes your house or your flat smell really nice Obviously it won't clean, you know, amazingly because sometimes it's just good to get like a bucket full of boiling water and like some fairy liquid and it really kind of cleans the floor because this doesn't really kind of get the dirt up that much, but it is still good and I do mop every single week and I think a lot of people don't mop every week. So I think it's just something nice to do mainly to make the house smell really nice, but I enjoy mopping anyway, it's nice. Also, who likes my slippers? Oh, they've gone off screen, but yeah, they're really cute. They're like little owls or something. So I'm now using this method of surface cleaner. I take a little bit of this into a bowl and I add some boiling water from the kettle. This helps to scent the rooms because of the steam from the boiling water. And also after I have put it in each room, I will use it to clean several places in my house. Leave it for five minutes in each room. So when I'm using the concentrated product in the bowl to make the concoction which makes the room smell nice. After I have done that and it's been in every single room and the scent has filled the air, I will then take this to flora spray which I still have from before Christmas. It's in the scent Winter Spice and I will spray this onto my sink in my kitchen, upstairs in the bathroom and the toilet and I will give it a wipe with a cloth. For the toilet I will use tissue because I don't really want to be cleaning with this and reusing this when I've just wiped the toilet. This is nearly run out which means that I can get a different scent soon. So after the bowl has been in each room for about four to five minutes, I then get my Zaflora spray and I use the liquid from the bowl alongside my spray of the Zaflora to clean the sink and also my toilet. And I also clean my sink downstairs in the kitchen. Now I do give my toilet and sinks thorough clean separate to this, but this is just kind of a basic weekly clean that I do. And I just find it kind of helps to keep things a little bit cleaner if you're doing things more often. 
I feel like when it comes to cleaning, there is like a routine that you kind of have to get into and it doesn't happen straight away. For me, it has pretty much taken me like eight, nine months to get into a good routine of cleaning and having a daily routine, but also having a weekly routine, understanding that not everything can be done in one day or one week or even one month. Like there's a lot of things that don't get done monthly. And that's okay because you shouldn't be cleaning your sofas every single day or every single week and you don't need to pull your bed out and hoover underneath it every single week. It's things like that that kind of annoy me because I think, oh, like I need to do that or, oh, I wish I could do everything every single week. But what you have to do is just select one or two things that you wouldn't normally do every single week and just do something different and over time things will get done and you will feel good about it. I do clean my coffee machine out every single week and that's because I feel like obviously if I'm using this daily I don't want it to be really dirty and I don't want it to get clogged up with coffee. I want it to stay working just fine and yeah I love this coffee machine. I would highly recommend it. I got it off of Amazon in a Black Friday sale and I think it was only £60. Obviously it was on offer but I still think it was only like £100 brand new and I think that's really good. Every week I do go into every room and use this fabric spray and I just spray it on pillows, on the carpets after I've hoovered and the bottle is running out but I do have two brand new bottles in the cupboard so next week I will get them out. But I do this in every single room and it just means that everywhere is smelling really nice, fresh on a Sunday, ready for the new week. So I hadn't actually cleaned out my hoover in a, like a month or two, but I think it's really important to remember to clean your hoover or vacuum or whatever, um, because especially the filter, because it can get really clogged up and that does actually affect the performance of your hoover and it won't um, like get as much dust up and it could actually break the hoover so just make sure to do that because as you can see this filter had a lot of dirt in it and it's something that needs to be done at least once a month. I actually hoover my whole house once or twice a week depending on how kind of dirty it is. The other day before filming this video I actually had hoovered so I didn't really hoover that good in this video um, but I do hoover my bedroom every single night because I have the bunnies in my bedroom and their cage and when they're running around they do sometimes flick sawdust everywhere so I just you know hoover that up and keep on top of that because I don't want to be sleeping in a room where there's just sawdust all over the floor but this was the final cleaning task that I did of the day and then basically after this I just made my lunch for work for the next day and watched YouTube and Netflix and just had a really relaxing evening. So I have now finished cleaning for the day. I have got done everything that I need to do. I haven't shown everything because I'm gonna show some in my next clean with me and the clean with me after that, just that I'm not repeating myself every single time. I managed to get a good amount done. The hoover is currently drying. And aside from that, in the week, I just tend to do laundry. I don't really do any specific cleaning tasks Monday to Friday just because I like to leave everything for the weekend. I do work Monday to Friday so when I get home I like to relax rather than start doing any cleaning or anything like that. I do do a workout when I get home but I don't want to you know put all the effort in of cleaning and tidying after I've spent a day at work working hard. But what I do tend to like to do on a 
daily basis is just to make sure that everywhere is tidy. So not necessarily cleaning, but I will be making sure that everywhere is tidy because a tidy house is a tidy mind and that is 100% true. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe because I am going to be making more cleaning videos because I have actually really enjoyed making this video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.